Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Janelle Rohner, certified macro coach. Uh, let's do week one and two of my fitness challenge. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. I will be doing weekly updates. Let's get into it. Okay, let's talk challenge. It is week one. Let me give you the full rundown. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for the day. So, I've decided to do another fitness challenge. Yes, I'm a macro coach. Yes, I can coach myself, but I love the accountability of a challenge, right? As a macro coach, I'm not calling myself checking in. I'm not sending myself weekly pictures. It's different than like a client coach relationship since I'm both people. So I love a good challenge, okay? So we're in it to win it. Um, the deal with this challenge, you guys, here's the rules, right? So it is 60 days, okay? Sixty day challenge. It is five days of boot camp a week and six days of cardio per week. Okay, that's the rule. Then cardio also increases weekly. So you start at three hundred and fifty calories of cardio, and you can do your cardio however you want. You can jog, walk, um, stairmaster, hike. They have like boot camp classes, like however you want to get a uh, elliptical, whatever you want to do for your cardio, you just have to get in those calories. So like, like I said, week one is 300, two, 350, week three, 400, week four is 450. Oh, sorry, my phone's ringing. Um, so that's like the basics of the rule. They give you a meal plan. Now here's where things get a little bit custom for me. Um, so, I am going to do like a combo of like their, the macros and the meal plan that they give me. But because I'm a macro coach, I want to like, you know, incorporate things, maybe switch them around to how I like them. I'll still stay within like the macros that they give me. Um, now this is not, this is an extreme deficit. Okay. So I want to like stress that like, this isn't like a... This isn't something that like I'm going to be doing long term. Okay, I'm going to be doing these eight weeks. I'll probably reverse right back up to maintenance and then like stay happy there. Okay, so I, I want to stress that you should not be in extended deficits for extended periods of time. All it's going to do is lower your metabolism. It's going to become your new normal. And we don't want that. We want that metabolism burning and firing. Um, so I suggest taking a diet break every about 12 12 to 15 weeks um what that means you're going to go back up to maintenance for like one to two weeks let like your hormones recover um your body recover all of that and then you can go back into the deficit but i just want to stress that like this is not sustainable i will not be doing this long term this is for the eight week challenge okay so they gave me my macros um like i said i'm going to be customizing just a little bit because i know my body like i said i'm a coach like i know what i like i know what i want okay I'm going to be following their food preferences with just minor tweaks. Like I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm not drink, no alcohol. Um, it's no alcohol, no dairy, which I may be getting in a little bit of Greek yogurt, but that's kind of like, us. I'm sorry. Non-fat Greek yogurt is not a splurge to me. That ain't a cheat to me. Um, I just like it for the protein. Um, I don't prefer to eat a lot of protein shakes and protein bars. I prefer to like eat the protein. I just, it's just a preference for me. I, I just think that those things are like really highly processed and your body doesn't use the protein like it were a chicken breast, right? And I feel more full from eating a chicken breast as opposed to like a shake. So anyways, not saying I won't incorporate shakes and bars, but the majority of my food I like to come from like food, not shakes and proteins. Um, okay, let me think. Am I missing anything? So five days a week, six days of cardio stick to the meal plan and there's like challenges along the way like in gym challenges out of gym challenge like there'll be like a tug of war at a park against the teams like so there's lots of teams it's really um motivating i am super motivated by that like i'm really type a like how many reps can you get like that kind of stuff like i really like so i'm really excited um yeah we're in it it'll be 60 days there will be ups and downs. I know that. I'll be honest with you guys. Like, this will not be easy. The deficit is pretty steep. Um, but like I said, this is nothing that I will be doing long term. And I cannot, cannot, cannot stress that enough. 
Um, I feel confident doing this because I, I, I know about macros and I know like how many calories like is safe and whatever. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see my transformation. Um, my goal is to just be the best version that I can to be stronger, to be leaner, have like better endurance. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so excited. And um, yeah, that's like the basics of the challenge. So wish me luck, follow along. Okay, let's chat. It is day three of the challenge. And although I feel really good, I started my period yesterday and it's like just a dragging me down just a smidge. Um, I'm really sore. I don't know if that's like, because, like enhanced because of my period. I don't know. So I got through a killer workout today. Um, I got through everything I needed to do. The food was really good today because I was like a little bit not wanting to eat as much. Um, so today wasn't the best day, but it was not a bad day. Like, right, you know, you're just kind of like, like bleh, when you're on your period. Um, so I kind of took it easy in the gym. Like I didn't, I mean, I still had like a really heavy, like hard workout, but I also like didn't push beyond my limits. I didn't like try to any like PRs or anything today or like to push through pain. Like I just kind of like did a good workout and like left it at that. So uh, that was like a fun surprise last night to start my period on literally day two of starting the challenge. But life happens. We are women. It's no big deal. Other than that, like it's been really good. Day three, day three was good. I'm shocked. I'm still shocked at like how not hungry I am. Again, I don't know if that's just like because I'm mentally so competitive and I'm like in it to win it. And like since I've started, like I just like go like into competition mode, you know? So I'm not like thinking about snacking or if I'm just genuinely like really full. I don't know. It's kind of strange because I've done this amount of calories before and been hungry. So I don't know. I'm a little confused there, but I'm going with it. So yeah, I'm gonna go take a hot bath. I'm gonna soak. I'm very sore, which is shocking to me because I work out really hard aside from this. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. Today was a little bit challenging, but we made it through well. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take a hot bath, maybe some ibuprofen and get to bed because tomorrow is leg day. We have made it to day five. It is Friday, so cheers to that. I feel good. The food is great. Yesterday was a high carb day. I felt so strong, had like so much energy in the gym. Um, I woke up feeling much better yesterday with the extra carbs. Um, even though I had started my period, the carbs really brought me back to life. Today, I feel a little tired. Um, the food is easy. The workouts and the cardio is kind of wearing me down just a little bit. I'm looking forward to resting on the weekends. We have two rest days a week, so we work out five days a week, two days off. Um, and you can kind of space those however you like, if you want a Wednesday break, a Friday, whatever. So I'm gonna take the weekend off of like lifting and working out. I'll probably just do like some light walking. And I'm like really looking forward to that. My body is um, in need of a rest. <laughs> And I hate cardio, so I'm not loving the cardio, but I mean, that's just like a personal preference. I could lift all day long. I hate cardio, so I'm not like loving the cardio, obviously. I don't like to just sit on a treadmill and like walk for 30 minutes, but anyways, it's called a challenge because it challenges you, so all in all, I'm doing fine. Good morning. It is Saturday. I finished a long walk, and I will be resting um, the rest of the weekend. When I say rest, I mean like not working out, not lifting, no more cardio. I just finished eating. So it's so funny and I wanted to share this part of like a weight loss journey. Today I'm like hungry, like hungry. I feel like my metabolism is like cooking, you know? And that's something that's normal. So just in a seven day period, day one, day two, day th almost day one through five, I was like, content almost like not even hungry and today i'm hungry so i'm having an earlier meal um if need be i can add in like salads or like bulk up the veggies like there's tons of like little tips and tricks that i have that i could use if i need to but i'm not quite there yet my hunger will change um you know throughout the journey and throughout your cycle women your hunger hormones will change during your cycle 
keep that in mind. Um, I'm on my water. So yeah, we've made it through the first week. I feel amazing. I feel like accomplished, you know, like proud of myself. Like I did it. <laughs> um, and I did it on my period. So week one down on my period, super proud of myself. Good morning. Week two of the fitness challenge. Hang with me. I'll show you a day of work and on the challenge. Let's get into it. Okay, first of all, we're gonna pack my lunch. Today's a higher carb day, so breakfast. Breakfast, we got some egg scramble. This is 150 grams of egg whites, one whole egg. And then we have a bagel. This is just like a Dave's killer bagel. And then I'll put some like Walden Farms blueberry syrup on it. Don't knock it till you try it. It's like zero calorie jam. It's super good. Okay, that will be breakfast. Uh, lunch. Oh my gosh, I'm on a sweet potato kick. Oh, I just got these sweet potato fries at Walmart last night in the freezer section. Blew my mind. Like, oh my God, they're so good with a little bit of salt. Anyways, chicken breast, broccoli, um, sweet potatoes. That will be lunch. <clears throat> Somebody's right here with me. Afternoon snack. I know this looks kind of weird, but... Afternoon snack will be chicken breast rice and I'll slice up this cucumber, but I don't like to slice it up right now because I'm gonna warm the chicken and the rice so I can just grab the cucumber out, warm that, chop up, you know? A little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sriracha. Dinner will be a repeat of lunch because I'm so obsessed with the sweet potato fry thing. I like It's all I wanna eat, so dinner will be a repeat of that. Oh, actually, after work, I'll go to the gym, come home, also, I'm gonna do my cardio on my lunch, I hope. My cardio is 350 calories. You can do it however you like. I'm hoping to get in like some stairs or walking or, I don't know. <coughs> Anyways, <coughs> dang sis. Okay, chicken breast, uh, sweet potato fries, broccoli for dinner, and then I'll do a protein shake um, for dessert. Still at um, about 150 grams of protein. This is just a higher carb day, so just adjust the fats and the carbs a little bit. Um, okay. Let's get to work. It is Monday night. Today went totally different than we thought. I ended up not working. I went to the gym in the morning. Anyways, today was just like a different day. And being honest, I don't wanna eat my dinner. I'm not into it. I don't wanna have the chicken breast. I mean, it's delicious. I'm really excited for the sweet potato fries, but I get asked all the time, like, how do you eat the same thing all the time? Is it so delicious every time? And in general, yes. Um, but right now, no, no, I do not want it. I want something else. I want like chicken thighs or I don't know, but I have this prepped and I'm not gonna like make another meal and, but full transparency, it sounds really bad and I don't wanna eat it, but I'm going to. So yeah, like maybe her cookies sound better. Actually, no, I don't even want cookies. I just don't want chicken breasts, right? I don't know, when I'm in a challenge, I don't really feel like I want like junk food-ish. I just like wish I had a little bit more variety than like chicken breast, but, and, and I do, it's just how I feel right now. This is what I have prepped and I'm not in the mood for it, but I'm gonna eat it. <sighs> yeah. It is Wednesday, I think. <laughs> it is Wednesday, let's chat. I'm eating lunch. Uh, today we've got, I don't wanna spill it, but I'm doing some chicken breast, Sweet potatoes, these are just frozen from Walmart. They're delicious, I air fry them. The macros are actually pretty great. Um, I hate chopping potatoes. It's like one of the things that like drives me nuts. So I love frozen potatoes, frozen fries, frozen hash browns. Anyways, um, and some broccoli. Hey sissy. No way. Two LOLs, oh my gosh. Um, so let's chat. These let's chat, wow. Yeah. Let's chat gut health because not to be too TMI on this channel, okay? Because that's not my style, but let's talk gut health because um, I started, you know, the new way of eating. I've cut out some of the foods that I usually eat. I think my body's getting used to things and um, let's talk staying regular, okay? I know. Um... <laughs> I don't know how to say it other than like I wasn't regular, so I wasn't regular anyways. And I normally am, okay? So when things, when I switched, you know, to eating this way, I think maybe I was a little bit lower on fiber. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not gonna try to understand it, but 
I'm rambling. Here we are. Um, it's been a few days, you know, and I needed to get regular. So my assistant swears by poppy. Okay. This soda, it's like probiotic, prebiotic, something has apple cider vinegar. It's great. She swears by it for staying regular. And I truthfully was never like really interesting because I didn't, I didn't have that problem <laughs> till now. So I went and got one yesterday. Um, I drank it. It tastes delicious. The macros are great. It's like 15 calories. Um, and nothing happened and I was like well okay that was a disappointment but today this morning okay we're back on track so I don't know if it was just like the universe or the poppy or the I don't know but anyways think of gut health okay I also switched up my breakfast this morning and did oats and I added some chia seeds because I think I need some more fiber broccoli great fiber anyways feeling really good other than that little hiccup and you know I talk real issues here and that was a real issue for me yesterday. So anyways, week two is going well. I was really, 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 really hungry in the beginning of the week. Added salads in, as you guys saw, not as hungry today. Anyways, we change every day, you know, what can I say? Who knows what tomorrow will bring? <laughs> Does anybody else? Get this happy when they eat lunch, or is it just me? If you've made it this far, thank you. Uh, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. I'll be doing weekly updates of this challenge. Wish me luck. Um, bring on week three, four, five, six, seven, and eight.